Welcome back to the 3n plus 1 problem. Start with any number. If it's even, cut it in half. If it's odd, multiply by 3 and add 1 and divide by 2. Then repeat. The conjecture states that every number goes to 1. One way to resolve this conjecture would be to find a loop, some specific number that never goes to 1, proving that the conjecture is false. By now we've found a few loops involving integers. Here are the ones that I know about. For the 3n plus 1 problem, we only know about the loop involving 1 and 2. For the 3n minus 1 problem, we saw a loop at 5 and a loop at 17. There's also a loop at 1. And we saw a couple of loops for the 5n plus 1 problem. As an aside, there's a special type of loop called a circuit loop. So it starts at m, goes up and up and up, then down and down and down, returning to m. So this is a circuit loop, this is a circuit loop. The yellow blocks indicate upward movement, the blue blocks indicate downward movement. But these loops are not circuit loops because they gyrate up and down before returning home. Now, the thing to notice about this table is that all these loops are short and they all involve small numbers. Since the first billion billion numbers have been checked by mathematicians and they all go to one, then we know that any other loop besides these is gonna have to involve really huge numbers. So out there in huge number land, could there be four huge numbers that form a loop? Unfortunately, such a short loop is not possible. There are only 16 operation sequences of length four, and here they are. So we can take each one of them and solve for m like we've been doing in previous episodes. For example, the only number that forms a loop with this operation sequence is five over seven, and here's the concrete loop. Okay, you can see that every time we solve for m, we get a pretty small number back. So all loops of length four involve small numbers. There's no huge number that loops back on itself after just four steps. All right, so how about larger loops of length 10 or 100 or 1,000? Is there some huge number that loops back on itself after 1,000 steps? Let's check it out. So let's pick a loop length like k equals 1,000 and some number of 3n plus 1 operations, call it x. There are lots of loops we can make, and it comes back to how we arrange these pieces and solve for m. So each arrangement of pieces gives us some loop that starts at m and ends at m. Now if we shove all the pieces to the left, we get what's called a circuit loop. Uh, this loop goes up and up and up and then comes back down and down and down. So the circuit loop is special and it's interesting for a couple of reasons. First, of all the loops we can make, it turns out to be the one with the highest member and also the one with the lowest member. All the other loops of this length gyrate around inside the circuit loop and it turns out their lowest members aren't much higher than the circuit loops. Second, it's super easy to calculate the lowest member of the circuit. When we add up all these products of powers of 2 and 3, this beta simplifies to just 3 to the x minus 2 to the x, which is really amazing. So the bottom of the loop is just 3 to the x minus 2 to the x divided by 2 to the k minus 3 to the x. So let's get back to our idea of a loop length k equals 1,000 with x, say, 630. When we solve for m, we still get a pretty low number. In fact, for, for all the loop lengths up to 1,000, the loop bottoms never exceed 978. I checked it with a computer. So that means forget it. Loops of length 1,000 aren't going to work any more than loops of length 4 are because uh, any integer loop would include some small integers that are already known to go to 1. And with some similar reasoning, mathematicians have discovered that any 3n plus 1 loop would actually have to contain at least 10 million members. So if we're hunting for a 3n plus 1 loop, then every member of that loop has got to be bigger than a billion billion, and the loop itself has to have millions of members. That's insane. We're going to have to ingest our theory of loop hunting now, and so that's what we're going to do starting in the next episode. All right, see you then.